Hi, my name is Frederick Kaufman, composer. I've always known I wanted to be a composer. So I, as a composer, have been motivated by poetry and philosophy and art. And I say to you, as a young audience, think about that. Perhaps that will motivate you. It's been a great inspiration to me. I believe in something called synesthesia, which is uh, really something that we all, some of us, possess when we, for example, when I write certain notes, I think certain colors. And uh, that's synesthesia. And uh, so therefore, if you're inspired by an artwork, well, wonderful. Write something about it. If you're inspired by poetry, write something about it. If you're inspired by excitement in the streets, write about it. And philosophically, if you have your own philosophy, your own thoughts about how life should proceed, about your friends, about your parents, about your family in general, write about it. It's, it's nothing like uh, the arts. So jazz was an important component in my life, and it, to this day it is. So here I am, 81 years later, and um, still writing compositions with, that have jazz elements in it, jazz chord structures, harmonies, uh, a feeling of improvisation, lots of rhythmic writing, as you probably know from uh, Yin and Yang, which is a work that has um, big sections with jazz-type chords in, in it. I'll never forget when L Loretta Dranoff came and asked me if I would write a piece for her. At that time, I was very much into studying um, Chinese philosophy, and, and so the object of uh, yin and yang came to mind when she said to me, I'd like you to do something for two pianos. And so here I was reading all about yin and yang, and I said, ha, I, I kind of like the idea, you know, the uh, yin and the yang, two opposites that come together to make one whole. And, um, and that's what I thought about as I wrote the piece. I didn't do them throughout most of it as two opposites coming together. Uh, there was a definite relationship between them. But in true yin and yang, that's not absolute uh, either. So that was the reason why I decided to call the work yin and yang. And that was basically a back of my mind as I wrote the piece. If you listen carefully to yin and yang, you'll hear one playing a pitch. It's not repeated by the same pitch. It's actually the pitch of a different tone row being done backwards, and they cross each other all the way to the very end. That's the introduction. You find a lot of what we call contrapuntal writing in there. My music tends to be very contrapuntal. kind of like the fact that they are two personalities, yin and yang, and coming together as the whole. There's a, a section that's totally aleatoric. If you remember when you listen to it, you hear which is very wild. I'll never forget when Loretta heard it for the first time. She went, oh my God, what's going to happen here? But, um, and very soon the audience grew to love it. If you ever forget to, it will love you when nothing else knows how to accept for a song, but a song is enough. And, and then the very last pitches are sort of a blues pitch at the very end. Inspired by writing. Poetry is the other big force in my life. I like color, I like action, I like abstract thinking. And so art has been a big inspiration to me.